My first interaction with this space was a long time ago. I was in elementary school. I grew up about 45 minutes from here outside of Raleigh, and it literally and figuratively opened up the universe for me. I would say it was the start of a long love affair I've had with science. I was inspired by one of the theater shows when I was a kid. I was really amazed about all of the things that, could, that was shown on the dome and also the presenter back uh, then. That like impact stays on <laughs> until I grow up, so that is probably why I want to work here. Moorhead became the astronomy classroom for a lot of North Carolinians like me. You come to Moorhead when you're in school, Maybe you bring your kids to Moorhead, bring your grandkids to Moorhead. It's an important part of life for a lot of people in North Carolina. All right, now you can see there's a bunch of stars are shining out there. Luckily, we will be able to find a North Star by first finding a constellation called Cassiopeia. I pull up the night sky and show them how can they found the direction north and also some of the other things like planets, deep space objects like nebulas and uh, maybe other galaxies we can see out there. How did the moon get in front of the sun? That's a really good question. We know that the moon actually... I think curiosity is the foundation of like exploration in the future and children are <laughs> usually they're curious about many kind of different things. If you really want to get closer to the sun, uh, there are definitely more technology that you need to <laughs> take with you. This really reminds me of my own childhood and I always wanted to present in the best way so that I hope they could keep the curiosity and explore in the future.